Hi there, my name is Austin and this is the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I'm a 40 year old mechanic. Um, a couple months ago I was scrolling through eBay and I saw a vase. It was, it was one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. It had a starting bid of $300. It said it was cloisonne. I had no idea what that meant. So I, um, I googled cloisonne real quick and started to understand it a little better and I continued to freak out about this vase. It was $300, like I said, and uh, <laughs> my last two cars were $500. <clears throat> so you understand why that might be an issue for me. It was very difficult to come to terms with how much I love this thing that was going to cost almost as much as my last car. But I did it and I liked that thing so much that I started buying other cloisonne. Now, these are not particularly fine examples, but if we're going to be friends, and if you're going to look at the stuff I buy, let's just talk about cloisonne real quick. Real quick. This is a little turtle. He's, he's just a boy. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's a modern Chinese cloisonne piece. And when we get up close here, we can see his little wires. So... These wires are called cloisons, and what they do is they have them sitting right upright. You can see, compared to my thumb, uh, which is all cut up and dirty, probably. <laughs> you can see by my thumb that uh, that's a very thin wire. So it stands on end, and they draw the little shape with it. In this case, being a probably a Buddhist symbol, and then obviously his little shell wraparounds. Now, I'm only showing you this because you can see the wires so well. It makes it a perfect example to show somebody just getting introduced to stuff like this. So when I found him for like $10, I, I, I took the bait. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> so on the inside here, uh, this is the inside of a shell again. So this is called counter enamel. And this is usually on the uh, inside and bottom of uh, whatever the object is, usually a vase or a plate. Um, I think maybe its main purpose is just to protect the item from corrosion, but there might be some effect while they're firing it that it protects the uh, other side of the enamel or something. I'm not sure. Uh, enamel is crushed glass or, you know, like a mineral of some sort. Like, it almost looks like this could be like crushed up turquoise or something. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure it's uh, typically just some sort of glass. But, uh... So a handsome little turtle, and these these little wires all around here, they are called cloisons, and this is a cloisonne piece. You see his little green tail and his little pink toes. You see his little tummy. This is actually kind of why I bought him because his little tummy was so handsome. Somebody actually cared about him enough to do a little bit of work and and decorate his whole underside. And I thought, you know, even if this was made in China three days ago, because you can go right on eBay right now and buy the same exact little turtle that I have, and then we'd be turtle mates. <clears throat> so that's appealing to you. <laughs> if, you've, if you've always wanted a turtle mate and never had one, just go in there, buddy. Come on, friend. Okay. Embarrassing me. Okay, so that's a modern piece. This is a... Uh, Meiji era Japan piece of cloisonne, and this is a tiny little example. I would say it's called a pocket curio. So somebody just carried this around in their pocket like you would with a cell phone or something, because what else did you have to do in the world? So people would kind of just, you know, pull this out of their pocket and look at it and contemplate it and wonder, you know, I mean, just think deep thoughts about this tiny object. Why was this crane? under a giant lily pad and maybe that's maybe that's what you're supposed to think when you look at this piece i'm, I'm not entirely positive but uh i like his flowers i don't i don't think it's a particularly fine piece i think it's uh i think it's cute i like it you can see his little wires when i turn them into the glare especially on this bigger lily pad up here i like that over here you can see there's actually a little bit of like rough stuff where some of his uh polish has come away and I'm kind of assuming that that's because somebody had them in their pocket for, you know, 
enumerated years. Innumerable? Um, I guess I guess we'll go with the second one. I don't know how I feel about it though. So so I like its flowers, and I especially like this flower. I think it's a giant lotus. I could be wrong. I'm I'm not a uh, botanist by any means. But yeah, I like his uh. I like his shading in this, and sometimes that's a little, it's just a little effort went into it, because, you know, obviously you could just glob one color into each of these little partitions a lot easier than you could, you know, mix in that white after you do a little dollop of red right there, you know. Uh, somebody tried a little hard on this, you know, look at his shading for the side of the lily pad. <coughs> now, I'm sorry, I don't usually talk this long, and my throat is getting dry and weird, so I apologize for that. I'll probably have to take a drink of water. But uh, there's something coming out from behind this. I don't know if it's just a continuation of these uh, uh, stems over here, or if maybe this giant lily pad is here to conceal the fact that the artist messed something up. I'm, I'm really not positive. But... Uh, yeah, I got this for, I think, uh, $40 before shipping and handling, which we don't like to talk about that. We just like to think that, you know, the thing I'm paying on eBay is exactly what it says it is for the bid. <laughs> so so when I talk to my wife about this, I say, this was only $40. <laughs> and let's not, uh, let's not discuss that any further. <clears throat> now, as with many things in life, the back end of it is actually the part I enjoy the most. I'm sorry, is that too graphic for an antiques channel? That's <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> so, uh, I actually really like his flowers here. You can see they're a fine wire and a, a nice gold color. I don't know if I'm showing that off to you in any way, shape, or form that you can appreciate. I certainly hope so. I, He's actually very pretty in real life. Let me see if I can just uh, leave him alone for a minute. Let him let him show off on his own. What do you think about that? I mean, he's no he's no turtle, but he's a pretty handsome little fella. So uh, that's my little introduction to my channel. Once again, that's uh, the best I can afford antiques channel. Uh, my name's Austin. And feel free to tune in next time because I'm going to open the first thing I freaked out about, which is in this big box right here. And I am pretty excited about it. Thank you very much.